It is finally here. Probably most awaited game for years now. Here is my short first impression after 7 hours of game time on PC. Note that this is not a review. That will come after I'm done with the game, as usual. Let's first cover things I don't like and have some concerns about. Driving is not good. I like idea of having cars in the game to travel, but handling is really strange and makes the car difficult to control. Fixable issue, thankfully. Let's move on to my next concern, that might be only my case because I have old GPU. You tell me in the comment section if you have same or similar experience on PC. I'm playing on something between medium and high graphical settings and frame rate is not bad but game looks blurry and grainy even with stuff like grain, motion blur and chromatic aberration off. From up close game looks amazing with fantastic amount of detail in the world on NPCs, important characters, weapons, outfits and so on. That part is insane how detailed this world is, but as soon as you start looking at further objects, visual fidelity significantly drops. Another concern are twitchy and broken animations on almost every character so far. It really breaks immersion. I have seen people not being able to walk normally on stairs, lots of clipping, sliding, twitching, etc. I honestly don't know if all of that can be fixed, but I guess time will tell. As far as quest bugs are concerned, I didn't encounter many thankfully. I am still on the fence when it comes to story and impact of our decision making and siding with certain characters during missions, because I need to see how it all unfolds in the end. Characters are really good and interesting, with each bringing their own charisma and affiliations to the table. Story, however, for first couple of missions is kinda all over the place and left me confused a bit. The way it is told is not the best way, as it can raise more questions than provide answers. Intro story jumps all over the place too fast. We'll see how it all unfolds, because I can't judge story based on my 7 hours of game time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. And the flathead? Nothing yet. On it now. T-Bug says no chance of that ship without that bot. To work then, Mr. V. Even with all the downsides, my first impression is very positive. Night City is truly fantastic. Vibrant, full of various NPCs, activities left and right, interesting locations, I love it. Plenty to uncover. It seems like huge city as well upon looking at the map. As I already said, amount of detail is stunning. From small stuff like graffiti to people doing their own thing. We'll see how many unique side quests there are and if they are meaningful enough. Gameplay is really good. It is first person and the way you control everything is simply awesome. Nothing groundbreaking here, but it works fantastic. I didn't use firearms much, but from brief experience it all works very well. Weapon handling, impact, sound effects, all well done. Mostly I've been sneaking about using hacking and battling enemies with melee weapons. There is lot to like here as you can dodge, slide, block, throw knives, use grenades, hack humans and objects. So far I'm loving the gameplay, but I would like some things changed. Stealth takedowns can be gimmicky, as you have to be right behind the target and if you are slightly on its side it won't be possible to perform the action. Also melee combat can be underwhelming at times, as enemies seem to react to being hit with melee weapons always the same way. Whole stagger and reaction system is not the best. Not saying it is bad, but it isn't brilliant. What surprised me is character progression. Amount of options is really impressive. Every attribute has bunch of perks that defines playstyle significantly. Next to that you can mod pretty much everything, upgrade weapons, install cyber enhancements. I have to test a lot of these things to see how balanced it is, but sheer number of options is big plus. I feel like we can play with lots of builds in Cyberpunk 2077. 
Last thing I want to mention is stellar audio work. Voiceovers, musical variety, atmosphere, sound effects, it is all brilliant. Overall, I have very positive 7 hour experience with Cyberpunk and I hope CD Projekt Red can act fast in fixing things that can be fixed as there is fair amount, but I don't think they will be able to fix everything. I am mostly worried about overall clunkiness when it comes to twitchy and broken animations that really break immersion. Not an easy fix, but we will see. Anyway, that would be all for this short video, thank you for watching and stay tuned for lots of Cyberpunk content.